a 3D printer for Christmas. The model is Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. Once I got it set up, I thought to myself, what should I print? Well, I'm a gamer and a game collector, so my first thought was, let's print some gaming stuff. Over the past few months, I've printed a phone holder for an Xbox One controller, various retro console cartridge, holders for the NES, Sega Genesis, N64, and the 3DS. Some cool 3D gamer art from Call of Duty. A really nice stand for my Nintendo 2DS. And of course, a 3D printed logo of my YouTube channel, Trickdis. Getting started with 3D printing for game related material couldn't be easier. The best way to get started is to go on the website thingiverse.com. From here, simply enter in what you're looking for into the search bar. Then download what you want. Next, I use Kira from Ultimaker to get my 3D prints ready for the printer. Here, you can move your 3D models around. It's also easy to adjust the size of the print. I've had a good look with using tree supports to keep the models printing cleanly. Once ready, hit the slice button. After the process completes, you can preview your print to see what it will look like with the supports. Then save it to the SD card for the printer and you're ready to go. Here are the examples of the final prints I have done so far. I use some red filament while others use shiny red green filament. I also had some Call of Duty art, a controller, and headphone stand. And of course, the Trick Disc logo. That's all for now, guys. Happy printing, and see you next time on Trick Discs.